YouTube, and it's your boy Jay. Uh, I'm just sitting up here chilling, man, watching a movie, and uh, I just wanted to talk about Charleston White, man. Like, y'all don't know who Charleston White is. He like a YouTube phenomenon right now. Uh, his channel grown like out of the blue. Like he just became like. Uh, a real like, um, you know what I'm saying? Um, they is extreme, like he an extremist, and he speaks on a lot of people. You know, he speaks on the Bloods, the Crips. He speaks on individuals, uh, celebrities, and, you know, we talk about the kids, the injustice system, uh, things of that nature. So, uh, he has a lot of opinions and stuff like that. And uh, a lot of stuff that he say is truth. I do agree with um, a lot of things that he say, but a lot of things I don't agree with as well. Um... He is like an older cat, and, uh, you know, you could tell he's from the hood, a hood up in uh, somewhere in Texas, I think Fort Worth is where he's from. Um, I put a video up him not too long ago, this and Nipsey Hussle, he said F Nipsey Hussle and F the Marathon and things of that nature. And, you know, me being from L.A. and stuff like that, you know, um, I didn't know who Nipsey was because I'm from the other side, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but I have met Nipsey Hussle before. I got a picture with Nipsey Hussle, uh, you know, and I just met him, like, at a gas station, you know, one time, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I was working. And, uh, you know, uh, he did a lot throughout his life as far as getting money, as far as becoming an entrepreneur, uh, being successful, building his people. Uh, he had a lot of knowledge and a lot of sense, and he maintained his going the way he went, and he was a family man and on top of that. You know, so he built it a lot of his respect and things of that nature. So, you know, it did kind of like, I'm sorry, I just got a message. But it did kind of like um, bother me a little bit. You know, he felt that way about Nipsey, especially like if you know the history behind Charleston. He like, he was from 60s, you know, uh, one of his boys, they was together doing a robbery and a dude, shh. His his one of his boys shot and killed a white man during the robbery attempt or during the robbery, and Charleston went to jail, got put on sixties. Then I guess he stopped gang banging. He became a Muslim. Uh, if you know Charleston, he uh, he don't like the Muslims. Talk bad about the Muslims. Uh, I guess he liked the pork, and you know they don't they don't they don't mess with the pork. So, uh, you know, I guess it didn't work for him or whatever. From my understanding, though, uh, if y'all follow Bosco 100, you know, they kind of beef him and Charleston. But from my understanding, uh, Bosco said that Charleston got jumped by the Muslims and stuff. But I don't know how true that is. I'm just I'm just telling you what I heard. Um, so I don't know if that's why he disliked the, the Muslims, but. Regardless of the fact, Charleston has a very spiritual understanding of the Most High. Uh, you could tell that uh, he is a believer. Um, he has a lot of knowledge of scripture. Um, I don't know if he's getting it from his mom. but Because he said he don't read the Bible. And he, and he said that uh, everything that he knows he got it from his mom, he don't even read. So... His mom is probably one of them, um, them ladies that, you know, 
probably grew her kids up in the church. You know, she had a love for the Most High and taught her kids a lot about, you know, scripture and stuff because he he quotes a lot of scripture and he be on point, you know. So you would think that he reads the Bible, but I mean, I don't know if it's true or not if he don't, but he said he don't. But, however, the fact, you know what I'm saying, um, he does have ties, well, he did have ties to the Crips, the 60s, uh, and he was at Nipsey's funeral, he was sitting behind the family and things of that nature, and he spoke highly of Nipsey at one point, but then he made a live not too long ago, and he's dissing Nipsey for some odd reason, I don't know. And, uh, you know, I, I really don't understand it, but, um, you know, that's his goings, you know, that's his, that's what he believes, I guess. Um, some people may think that he's a, he's a, a, a clout, a clout chaser. He's like the new version 6ix9ine, but as far as being an elder... Um, and I mean, if you don't know about him, just go on and watch him and follow him and stuff. You will see like why he get into it with a lot of people because he say some extreme things, man. You know what I'm saying? He, he spreads a lot of controversy and things that he says, but, uh, I like him. I gravitated to him. I seen one of his videos or whatever. And it was just so funny because he's like a comedian too. Like he, so some of the stuff that he say is funny as hell. You know what I'm saying? Um, like uh, like I said before though, um, uh, you know I got much respect for Nipsey. I don't know why he would slander Nipsey like that. Um, like I'm not one of these dick riding ass niggas though who be all on Nipsey dick and shit and. Tattoo him and fucking put him as my profile picture. And I don't do no man like that, regardless of who he was or shit. Nigga, my pops, nigga, I got more respect for my people that I know and that I lived with. Like my mom, my, my dad, my uncles and stuff like that. I don't even do all that type of stuff for them. But a lot of people was into idol worship, like he did say. And I do agree with him on that. Celebrity worship and things of that nature. And it's like, damn, these same people don't have no respect for their parents, no respect for their people that he, they do know who raised them and things, but respect these celebrities that do nothing for the community, make all this money, and we still oppressed. So, you know, teach you to kill, rob, steal, gangbang, and all this stuff. Like I said, Nipsey, I do like some of the, act, um, the uh, aspects of the, the good things that he did have to offer you know, for the community and the people and stuff. But then, you know, Nipsey also had a bad side. He was in the gang banging. He was teaching that, you know, it's cool to rob, kill, and steal and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Well, I don't know too much about uh, robbing and stealing and shit. But I know, like, as far as gang banging and, like, you know, us killing each other and things of that nature. You know, I really don't agree with. You know what I'm saying? And it shouldn't be glorified. But, like I said, I don't agree with everything Charleston White says. I never agree with everything Nipsey says. And it's, it's, it's likewise with anybody else, with anybody. I don't 100% agree with nobody. You know what I'm saying? People got good, people got bad. You know, you could, like, you might listen to an OG or somebody in the streets who might stop you and just talk to you and shit. And, and probably 5% of the conversation you know, might be something that stick with you for the rest of your life or something that'll help you during your time and you'll remember and something that you might be like, you know, somebody might just stop you and say something to you and you'd be like, damn, that was God. Like, how did they know I was going through this? Or, I don't know, woo, 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 you know what I'm saying? So, you know, even if, you know, you got somebody who, you know, speaking to you and, you know, you just want to be respectful because, you know, sometimes you get in a conversation you'd be like, man, I don't want to just tell this fool, like, I gotta go, or whoopie whoop, just, so you might just sit there and listen, and, you know, maybe 5% of the conversation, you might say something that stick with you, then you might, could repeat, and share with somebody else, and help somebody else, you know what I'm saying, so, 
you know, some conversations like that might be for two hours, and you might just gain one little thing, my nigga, that, that's, that you might get some wisdom or knowledge or something from, and I feel like them conversations is worth it. If you can get a, even a little bit of something, you know, that'll help you, and that's something that can leave with you, and you can leave with somebody else, and you can help somebody else, I feel like, you know, that's a job well done. You know, because throughout life, you got to pick through the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Everything is not to be kept and, and to be and to be used. But certain things you can't pick out that, you know, will be good for you and good for you to share with other people and things of that nature. So, you know, you just got to pick and choose and you got to... Um, Shit. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, that's really all I got to say, man. Everybody know, you know, I'm from, I'm from LA, man. You know, I stick with my peoples, but you know, I got love for a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? I don't just respect people because of the amount of money that they make, the material things that they have. You know what I'm saying? You all, you got to show like me good qualities, you got to show me, like, some type of knowledge, understanding, some type of truth, you know what I'm saying, in order for me to like you, I have to, like, uh, I have to, like, really, like, have something in common with you, or share something alike with you, in order for me to like you, or, you know, put you on a pedestal, or even speak about you, but the main reason why, uh, I'm, uh, putting this video out, is because I did put a video up on YouTube with Charleston White. And I know that he's putting a lot of copyright claims on people who's spreading his videos because he want all his money. And I understand, like, you know what I'm saying? It's understandable, bro. Like, you catching a lot of, like, slack off these videos, you know, that you're putting out. People want to kill you. Because the video that I put up, man, it damn near went viral in three days. It had, like, 5K views. It was just running up, running up, running up, back to back. I kept getting comments, like, because on YouTube, every time there's a comment made, I get a, I get an alert on my phone, you know, and I get an email. So my shit was going back to back to back to back, like, like people was threatening this guy's life. A lot of people didn't even know who he, who he was, you know. I'm quite sure they soon to find out, followed them and figured them out. Probably left him a few hate hate messages as well, you know, because uh, on my video, I got a lot, and basically, the video, the caption was, Charleston White says, F Nipsey Hustle." you feel me, because just recently, he made a live, and, you know, he had this Nipsey or whatever, and stuff like that, so, I had recorded it, and I had posted it or whatever, um, and, I guess he had, like, took it down. He had, like, um, I don't know if it was him, but I got a copyright claim, and they took the video down. So for all y'all who, who want to know, like, what happened to the video, you know, somebody had reported it, and it was took it was taken down from off my page. But regardless of the fact that it was Charleston White or not, you know, much respect to Charleston, man, much re success to Charleston. You know what I'm saying? I understand, like, you know, people was hunting you. Like, people was, like, like, really, like, mad at you, my nigga. So, you know, I understand if you need all of your your views on your page or whatever. Because, I mean, shit, nigga. If I was working that hard, you know, gaining en enemies and stuff like that, I would, I would want all my glory and all my, all, all my uh, f finances, too, that comes with it. You know what I'm saying? But... I'm not going to tell you how to run your program, man, but, you know, don't nobody need strife. Don't nobody need contention amongst each other. You know, we all one nation under God. We all want to help and heal, and we all want to see success amongst our people. You know, and I understand where you're coming from, man. You know, if you know about Charleston, man, he do work with the kids, and he do work in the criminal justice field. He did go to law school. He studied law. You know what I'm saying? He do play as a... I wouldn't say a... a, 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 a what they call it? 
public defender, but he works in the field where he helps kids who is fighting like heavy charges so they can get reduced. He can help share their story. He could have counseling with their parents and you know what I'm saying? So he works with a lot of community outreach programs and he's with the mayor and, you know, you know, public officials and he's talking and he's, you know, trying to do something for the nation. So I appreciate them things. You know, when I first found out about Charles, I started seeing him when I first, his first video, he had a lot of sense. He had a knowledge. He had an understanding. Everything that he's saying just uh, uh, ratchet and rugged. You know what I'm saying? Like he do say a lot of good things. He's not all just, you know what I'm saying, just dissing people and stuff like that. A lot of stuff that he does say, it has a lot of truth to it. It has a lot of, um, it has a lot of wisdom and knowledge to it. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, he is a spiritual guy. So, you know, but a lot of things that he say too, he could be more assertive, he could be so aggressive. But that's just his style and how he comes. And I and I appreciate all my elders, man. I appreciate all my people, whatever we have left. Especially in this time, man, when people was just selling out. We selling each other short every which way these days. It's a lot of competition amongst each other. A lot of jealousy. You know what I'm saying? And there ain't too many people speaking the truth and don't have the heart to say it and, and broadcast it amongst, you know, everybody. And I see that in him, you know, he's fearless, like a lion, and he's speaking his truth. And he's speaking on things that he believe in, and he's saying things that is, you know, making people think, making people change, making people who do feel the way gathering amongst each other, and they, you know what I'm saying, feeling confident. So I, I, I like some of the things that Charleston is doing, you know, and big ups to him and much success. Big ups to Nipsey and much, you know what I'm saying, and and, and 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 blessings, man, to your family. But you know, man, like I don't like the contention amongst each other, man. But I already know it, it's gonna be it regardless. You know, every bed, every every man makes his bed. So you know what I'm saying. And like I said, I don't agree a hundred percent with nobody. But don't expect me to. I'm not no all-out Nipsey fan. You know what I'm saying? But I did listen to his music, and I do think, you know, his legacy was very important to our culture. You know what I'm saying? Um, on that hand, man, this is just your boy, Mr. J. I appreciate y'all listening to me, man. I appreciate y'all coming on. Um, much love and respect to all y'all out there. Let's build the nation, man. Let's speak truth. You know, let's keep it all with the most high and have a love for God. Um, shout out to Charleston White, man. Keep doing your thing, man. I look at all your videos, you know, um, you know, keep speaking your truth, man. You know, we need elders out here to speak up and, and, and tell us the right things and guide these young kids and help the community and do things, you know, to help these mothers who's taking care of these kids without fathers and stuff like that. It's very important, you know, not too many of, of us is doing that. You know what I'm saying? So big ups to you, champ. Um, much love to Texas, much love to Fort Worth. Uh, that's where Charleston is from. Um... Much love to the L.A., much love to uh, all the cities, man, you know. I ain't out here to spread no controversy, man. I'm just I'm just out here to be me. Um, so with that being said, you know what I'm saying? You know, just find the things that you like in somebody. You ain't got to like everything, but, you know, you ain't going to agree with everything. But, you know, the things you can't agree with, you know, remember them. Remember that. You feel me? And uh, let's just get together, man, and uh, work amongst each other, man, and be happy and be peaceful. All right? This your boy, Mr. J. Um, I'll holler back at y'all. Thanks.